Hello and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So after last week's um, catastrophe, <laughs> what I've done is I've put some buggies on my ASP and I figured I'd go and do a little bit of, uh, well, just a little bit of fun time. So I came over to Mount Everest and spent a bit of time on here. Unfortunately, it was just getting to the end of its day, so uh, it was going to be moving out of the, the sun. And it's, I think it's, it's quite a long cycle. It stays, um, the day-night cycles are for like a few uh, Earth days long, so um, I didn't really get much time on there, but uh, I got a little bit of time on there before it got dark. And, and the reason, it, it's, it's actually a lot more, it's, it's, just, it's still a challenge doing it in the dark, but uh, hard to make video because you, you can't see nothing. Uh, I could essentially just be sitting still in the dark, and you're not going to know. <laughs> what you'll see is the interior of the ship. Um, so instead what I figured was we'd head over to Seoul and it's a beautiful view there, look at that, the mountain in front, on any other planet that would be a big mountain, unfortunately it's sitting next to Mount Neverest so it uh, looks quite small, um, but I figured yeah what we'd do is we'd head over to Seoul and to Ariel and uh, we'd do a little bit of, uh, rather than climbing up, we'd do a bit of climbing down. So here we are, we're, on, um, we're in Seoul, we're on, uh, just approaching Ariel now, look at the ravines, look how low some of those are very, very deep, um, but the gravity's not too bad, I mean it's a, um, a point three. so yeah, you can, it is possible to get down to the bottom of them and not uh, self-destruct, well not self-destruct, not blow yourself up, um, you may be pretty close to it, but uh, <laughs> you could survive, of course if you've got um, some of the, uh, the decent crafting stuff you can... Uh, put that little bit of extra buff on your hull, but um, I, I've never actually needed to do that. It's, uh, I think, uh, the worst fall I've had. It got me, dropped me into about 10% when I got to the bottom, and then I called the ship, repaired, and then, uh, well, the ship repairs the buggy, uh, flew up to the top and did it again. So uh, I do quite like throwing the buggy off the top of these and seeing if you can get to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know why. The deeper they are, um, the better it is. Also, um, I mean, I've done it on the light side of the planet this time because... Uh, it, again, video, you need, um, <laughs> you can't um, see much otherwise, and it, you're pretty much looking at a blank screen, but uh, even when we were just on the edge, it, you know, I didn't fly all the way around, I probably should have gone a little bit further, the, the ravines seem to be all over this planet. I find a large part of the fun, especially on the dark side, is when you, you'll be driving along, so you can't really see where you're going, I mean, you, you put your lights on, and you can have them on uh, uh, high beam, or just, just uh, the low beam. And you'll be driving along, and all of a sudden you've got yourself to it. You've been driving down an incline, and if you, especially if you don't notice, and you'll get to a point where you can't turn around. You have to keep going forward, which is generally down. Uh, and yeah, some of the other ravines, uh, it's just like a, you'll get to the edge and just go drive off, drive off the side, uh, and then uh, you have to try and do a controlled fall to the bottom. Um, and generally all in the dark as well, because so uh, you know don't illuminate that far when uh, when you're not close to the ground you can't always see what it is you're you're coming down on so a lot of the time you're watching the uh, altitude meter that's what i was trying to think and the altitude meter on your on your panel and uh, to see uh, how close it is before you when well, you hit something and try and anticipate it um, another reason i've come down to uh, these is because obviously in the, the new patches we're going to be getting attention to the planets now as far as I'm aware, it's not actually going to be until the fourth quarter, which is later in next year, say around about this time next year, where hopefully it will all be done and dusted by by that point. Um, but obviously from the first quarter, I think it's going to be, they've called it the foundation update, so I suppose that's later, paving the way for all the updates to come, and obviously we're going to get new ships and new game scenarios, um, the crafting tools and... And the trading tools, uh, which are supposed to track things more and more uh, frequently, so you can actually track. You won't actually go to a station after you said it's got a commodity and you'll get there, and there won't be any available. I'm hoping that they're going to tell you roughly what there is before you even. So if there's like a half, couple of hundred left over, then you, you can maybe pick a station maybe a bit further away, which has got a couple of thousand. So when you get there, there should still be something there for you to buy. So something along those lines. I'm, uh, I'm kind of hoping with that, that's a sort of indication I think we've got from that. Uh, and obviously the the planets as well. So we're going to have all the the ambient, um, the fog and the mist and, and stuff. Because obviously that's uh, that's a little bit rare at the moment. I mean, it, there are it is in the game. It's around the Fargo bases and and the barnacles and stuff. But uh, and I have seen it in a couple of other places. But pretty much um, it's very it's very rare. It's very rare I see them anyway. You might maybe I'm going to all the wrong places. But uh, yeah. But when you do see them, you seem to take note. You think oh, that's very nice. 
and also we've got some of the artwork for the up and coming planets and they look rather spectacular with the obviously the scatter rock system which I think I've mentioned and um, where, where the, the rollers are going to be and I don't know how that's going to work is it every time if you go back to the same planet are the rocks going to be in the same place or is it just going to do a random scatter um, mind you how often do you ever find your way back to the same spot unless you're going to a station or something but I mean looking at some of their past artwork for for instance I, some of the early footage we used to get um, pictures of uh, asteroid bases and we've only just got those a couple of patches ago but they don't look too dissimilar to what they look like in the artwork so looking at that and what um, so hopefully getting that I think it's late next year though um, that's going to be rather good so this time next year we could be driving around some rather spectacular places which is going to bring us back to obviously Mount Everest is going to be uh, going to be a fun one to do especially if they they can be like a, a, a vapor or some sort of fog towards the peak and then when you dive down into the ravines at some point you're going to go down into some vapor um, yeah, it's going to make SRV, uh, oh no, I'm going to hit a rock, oh, I hit a rock, that's not going to bode well, because now we're just going to fall, well, I've got to try and get that back, oh no, yeah, we've got, to, oh, okay, from this point, I think we're not necessarily going to be climbing, we're going to be falling, so now we've got to try and control it, if, oh. The trouble is, if we stay too close to the rocks and hit them, we just tumble. Now, that actually wasn't as bad as it could have been. Oh, okay. We're still doing fairly good with a hole. We've still got a lot of it left, so we haven't lost too much. We haven't got the shields on, because the shields don't seem to help anyway. They just If you're getting fired on, they seem to work, but when you're hitting rocks, they don't seem to do a thing. So I, I've to reserve the power, I've turned them off. We've still got a hell of a long way to go, have we? Can we see the bottom? I can't see the bottom. That is just a sheer drop. There's no way I'm going to get purchase on that. We can... Oh, come on, get out of the way, panel. I want to see beyond. So we kind of... I don't know where the end is. I can't... Okay, I think I can see the floor. Can I see... The, we don't seem to be falling that fast. Well, it doesn't look like they're falling that fast, but I think once we start getting closer to the wall, I think that actually is going to be... <laughs> oh, you know what? That's actually starting to look fast. We're, we're not speeding up. I think we're just getting closer to the edge. So, yeah, that's going to be... Oh, here we go. We've got to be close to the end now. Boost. Got no boost left. Touchdown. Oh, we lost, what, 50% of the hole? That's not so bad. That's a long way down. Let's quickly repair. Let's get out of the synthesis. Just put a basic repair on. We won't worry about putting the big one. But that's, uh, I, you know, I totally lost what I was talking about. What was I, I was talking about the patch. I was talking about, um... Uh, the planets, cause, oh yeah, because that means like, if you only come down to these ravines, uh, hopefully you'll be falling into some mist or some vapour or fog or something like that. That'll be that'll be quite spectacular. And also, when you climb in Mount Everest, where you get to a point where there'll be a peak and a, a vapour um, cloud or something uh, towards the top, which you have to navigate your way around. I think we'll do is get the ship in. Uh, the ship should be on the land in this ravine, and then we will. Uh, Maybe go up to the top and start all over again. And I haven't actually lost the bug. I actually expected to lose the buggy the first time around. There, there's a. I couldn't find it this time around, but there is a, a part of this where they, you've got a big ravine, but you've also got um, a large, like a, it's like a. It's, I don't think it's a mountain. It's like a reverse of the ravine, really. It's like it's where. Um, someone's dug the ravine and put the earth at the side and it's created a big long parallel mountain along the edge um, and I went from that and uh, I didn't even get to the ravine and uh, I think by the time I got to so I jumped off the edge of that and got to the, the platform or climbed down and when I got to the bottom of that I had something like nine percent health left and I'd still have to get um, to push over the top of the ravine at that point so uh, yeah that didn't go well but that's why I always bring spare buggies uh, and also you've got to pick up some uh, 
materials if you're waiting for well we're waiting for the ship to come and pick us up so we might as well do do something useful while we're waiting there's a the ship there so he's made it down I Look like he's extending his legs, so maybe he's not actually going to be able to land. Which means we'll have to get underneath him. And then push up afterwards. So, yeah, once the um, update, as I say, I'm free, the way I read the patch notes is a lot of the planetary stuff is coming towards the last quarter. So, say, sort of this sort of time next year. Um, I'm hoping they're going to introduce some of it a little bit earlier on just to give us a, a taster because some of the planets, some of the concept art for the planets, they look with the new scatter rock system where rocks, boulders and that would be scattered around. They're not, uh, I'm thinking they're going to be hopefully going to be a, a more fairer size than the ones we've got. Mind you, the ones we've got now, I mean, you have the smallest rock can do your damage, so uh, you hit one of the big rocks, that um, could be uh, game over. Also, I've been getting that weird glitch since uh, the latest patch, I don't know what that's all about. So anyway, we're back in our ship, like a ravine on the uh, on the, the radar in the middle. That's um, I'm gonna have to go up. Now it is possible when you look at the, because obviously the ravines do have a start and a finish. I don't actually know whether you can climb out because I've never actually gone to the end because these tend to go on for miles and miles. Uh, especially on aerial, which is, I think, definitely one of my fun places to come. Um, so once uh, we do get these updates, I think this is going to be one of the first places I come back and check out just to see what they've done, and hopefully it will improve on it greatly. And it is pretty good now. I mean, some of the places, uh, finding places to have fun in a buggy, it can be a little bit um, a few and far between in, in, in the galaxy. Well, there's probably loads out there, but it's such a big place. It's actually getting around to finding them.